one. So this is a set of nails I did mm, three or four weeks ago. Um, and this is for one of my regular clients. <laughs> both her and her friend both come to me. They tend to be back to back appointments. They went on holiday together recently and both had really neon nails. I still need to edit the video. Um, and they both on the same day sent me pictures of the fabulous Jen's nails. Um, and they both wanted them. Oh my God. So. I basically recreated them. I tried to mix it up a bit. Um, all my ladies know I never do carbon copies. So um, my first lady had black and pink and then my other lady had gray and pink. Um, and I did mix it up like the nails a bit different on each hand as well. So I have removed her previous set down to thin clear based on all my usual work on the natural nail prep prime, all of that. And then first of all, I'm coming in on this pinky finger and this is from the HD Pro collection. And this is, I think it's Betty, the black one. Ooh. Um, it's from the Leading Ladies collection. The black acrylic, basically. And I'm creating a full colour nail with that one. Then moving on to the ring finger, and again, I'm applying that thin clear base. And then I'm going to come in with this gorgeous pink, and this is Flamingo, no, Magenta, from CJP. And I'm going to apply that on the tip and then blend it up. Then coming in with holographic multi-cut glitter in black from the Glitter Fairy, applying that near the cuticle area and then blending that down. And then I came in with the Flamingo Multicut at the tip, blended up, and then I'm just using a wet brush to pick up both of the glitters to get a nice blend between the two. Then going back to that little finger and capping that in clear. And then I'm going to cap that ring finger in clear acrylic too. Then I paused the video and forgot to, no I didn't pause the video, oh, that's another one, I did, I paused it and I forgot to press record. Um, I've applied a piece, a bit of black um, acrylic to the top of that nail um, and used my brush to create a nice straight line and then I'm coming in for the ring finger, I'm coming in 
placing that clear base down and then using that magenta to create a strip down the center of the nail and then once i'm happy with the strip i'm then going to use some clear acrylic just to pop on some of that flamingo glitter as well Then going back to that middle finger and just filing that line nice and crisp. And then applying magenta to the bottom half of that nail. Then back to the other acrylic, um, other geometric, and I'm just going to cap that in clear. So I get a nice bead of clear acrylic. I make sure it's nice and dry because I want it to really stay put and in place. And I'm going to cap that stripe down the center of the nail. I'm just going back to that middle finger, making sure that that pink is all where I want it and then applying some of that flamingo glitter um, over that pink. and then capping in clear acrylic.
then back to that index finger using my file pushing against the acrylic not down onto the nail bed and getting a nice crisp line there um, on the geometric strip Then making sure I've removed all of that dust and then I'm going to fill in the side panels with black acrylic. And once they're all finished and file in, I'm then applying some 2mm striping tape just across one of those nails there. And then I'm going to apply my top coat and cure in my lamp for 30 seconds. And once that first cure is complete, I'm then applying top coat to all the other nails and then I will cure this in my lamp for 60 seconds. Of course, before I cure it, I'm going to use the holographic superfine in black on the pinky finger. Just tapping that off so I get a nice textured nail as well. And that is this set of nails complete. So I'm just going to share a video of the black set. And then after that, there'll be a video of the grey and pink set that her friend had. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. As I said, I stole this design from the fabulous Jen, Nan Jen Daniels of Sparkle, Shine and something nails i forget <laughs> see you all again soon bye <laughs>